Well, let's try an instruction flight, see what happens. rain lately. Still sitting here raining hard outside. It was raining last night hard. Actually lost power a couple of times for a second last night. Haven't lost power since I've been awake today and I've only been awake about an hour. <laughs> and uh, So let's see what we're going to do here. So I just take off the instructor and do as he says, huh? Oh, come on. I think I need to refill my lighter. Cubs are always fun. Damn it, did he take off without of flaps? <laughs> Instinctively did it. You're really getting the hang of this. I have control. All right. Now, I want to try changing the pitch of the aircraft. When you want to fly, raise the nose towards the sky by gently pulling the stick back. When you want to descend, lower the nose by pushing the stick gently forward. Gentle, gradual inputs will enable you to see what is happening to the aircraft, and then modify the amount of pressure you use for the controls to achieve the desired result. Let's start by pushing. You have control. That's enough. Okay, level out. Well, that was quick. <laughs> I have control. Now, we want to try changing the pitch of the aircraft. Barely you pitch want to down and in. <laughs>
Now, move the throttle lever all the way forward. See how the nose now wants to rise. Okay, move the throttle lever back to about the halfway position. Great! Now you've tried all of the flight controls. That's really all there is. Well, that was easy. Didn't have to do much at all. At least it's got flaps down for the landing. And with this cub, you can take off what feels like 20, well, 30 feet. Over. You've learned a few of the basics, and hopefully it's given you an appreciation of how a plane handles. There's a lot more to learn, so hopefully you'll want to take this further, and perhaps take some lessons. I'm sure one of the flight school instructors will be happy to take you flight. Huh? Yeah. Test flight was successful. Cool. Guess we'll move on to the next one.